kiddos welcome back to another exciting video so today I am doing the ever requested mint green um, glitter smoky eye I guess I call it I don't know I posted it on Instagram and Facebook and people went crazy and asked for a tutorial so here it is so we are starting off with Mac brulee I think that's how you say it with a Morphe M504 and just dusting it all over the lid for a light color wash and then I'm going to be taking a Makeup Geek Creme Brulee on that exact same Morphe M504 brush and doing almost the exact same thing, just keeping it more so in the crease than all over the place. Even though it looks like I'm rubbing it all over the place, I swear there is a method to this madness. Alrighty, now we're moving on and taking MAC Wedge on a MAC 224 brush. This is just another type of dense kind of fluffy brush. I don't know. It's just one of my favorite types of blending brushes that I have. I switch between this one and the Morphe one a lot. So same thing. I'm just trying to keep this in the crease just to help build up that transition shade. So whenever we go in with the darker colors, it's not nearly as stark and harsh of a line. So speaking of darker colors, I'm now going to go in with Makeup Geek Tuscan Sun on a MAC 217 brush. This poor brush has put in work and she is just looking rough, but please excuse her. She still does a great job. So we're just placing the product in the outer V and once again the crease, building it up mainly so on the outer corner of my eye and then slowly bringing it in towards the inner corner of my eye just to kind of give like a haloed effect almost. Then I'm going to blend in that Tuscan Sun color with the Morphe M504 brush to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Now I'm going to be taking MAC Red Brick and I'm going to be applying it with the same uh, MAC 217 brush and then I'll be doing the exact same thing of blending it in with the Morphe M504 brush. So really the method to this madness is I'm just going to keep um, placing on colors, blending it out, placing colors, blending it out until I like the transition effect that it is giving me. So that way whenever we put on the mint, the two colors will be really bright, really pretty, but not look like I drew them on separately. If that makes any sense at all. Probably not. Okay, it's fine. Keep going. Tutorial's still going on. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, so now to darken up the outer corner even more, we're going to be taking MAC Swiss Chocolate on a MAC 221 brush. I swear I am not a MAC snob, it's just I have a lot of their stuff. So I'm going to focus this color mainly on the outer corner and then same as I did with all the others, very slowly and lightly bring it across the crease. And then once again, I will blend it out with that same Morphe brush without adding any extra product. I feel like I should mention that. No extra product is being added during the blending process. Okay? Okay. Next up, we're going to be taking Makeup Geek's Sure Thing. Now, this is the awesome mint color that I was placing on my lids and in that Instagram photo that so many of you liked. So, I am taking this MAC 2... Again, with the MAC. It's the 242 brush. Um, I sprayed just a tiny amount of Fix Plus to see if it would help with the pigmentation, and it, it just... It really didn't. So, I just went in with, like, six or seven coats because this is not very pigmented, so you really have to work with it to get the color payoff that you want. But just stay diligent and patient, and you will get there. I promise. Then, once I get the mint color kind of to the pigmentation that I want. I'm going to go back in with those same um, darker red shades that we put on before with the same fluffy brushes. However, I'm not adding any more product. And I'm doing this just to bring back some of the color that was taken away whenever the mint was put on. For eyeliner, I am using the Makeup Forever Ink Liner. It is their liquid matte eyeliner. This is probably one of my favorite liquid liners of all time. 
and per usual I just cannot seem to get this on film very well. I swear I will keep practicing and one day you will actually get to see the full application of my winged liner or liner period. But today, I mean this is this is all we get. Sorry people. It just it comes with practice. So now I'm taking that same brulee or brule or whatever it is, MAC shade that we used in the very beginning on this Royal and Lang Nickel brush. And I'm just kind of highlighting my brow bone and then I'm going to take Max Nylon and do the exact same thing only just towards the tail end of my brow. Then I will also take that same color and put it in my inner corner. So for the glitter liner, I am taking Stila's uh, diamond something. What do you call it? Diamond dust. On a MAC eyeliner brush, I don't know the number of this, but it's like their teeny tiny straight eyeliner brush. Um, and I'm just dipping it into the product and just dispersing it that way. I think it worked way easier than like pulling it off the brush and all that nonsense. So once again, this was super hard to film, mainly because you have to be super precise with the glitter. And as you can see um, now, and especially in the beginning, it does transfer so like that black speck that you see like that is where it transferred and it will not come off no matter what I tried I would literally have to take makeup remover to get it off and I have tried to recreate this so many times it just it wasn't worth it um, so I am taking those exact same darker red shades as we did on the top of my eyelid and doing it on the bottom and just blending it in with a fluffy brush to kind of give a very like subtle smokiness to it. Then we're going to line my lower waterline with this Stila smudge stick liner and this is in the shade mint julep. This is probably one of my favorite Stila eyeliners that I have. I just love the color. It's just so unique and I think it really ties the mint colors together. So then for lashes and mascara, I, of course, am using the Mux Buxom mascara. Now I did put on uh, Huda Beauty Sasha lashes on off of camera um, but those are the lashes that I'm wearing and I'm just you know putting on coats of mascara to blend them together and then of course putting them on my lower lashes as well all right friends thank you so much for tuning in for this video like I said I tried really hard to recreate this more than once and this is just the best that I got so I appreciate you watching it uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you next week bye yeah.